Here is an update on my server rack cabinet. I have posted a short clip on YouTube on some improvements that I have done including purchasing a rack cabinet for my home lab. I have made few changes uh, since then as well because this is always evolving and changing. Uh, for example, right now I have two Unify switches which I previously used to have only just one. Uh, this is the new uh, version of the switch. Uh, both 24 port switches. Uh, they are not PoE, non PoE. And I have patch panel at the very top at the 42U uh, mark. So I have a patch panel right here. And then in here we have uh, my first 40, uh, sorry, at uh, 28 port, I believe. Uh, there's 20, sorry, 24 port switch. And then I have another 24 port switch uh, right underneath neat it this one and we have two patch panels in between so I have one patch panel in between and I have another patch panel on top of the first switch so this is the newer version second generation uh, 24 port um, non PoE unify switch with the 24 port patch panel at the top and then we have another 24 port patch panel underneath it and then you have a to, uh, the older first generation 24 port unified switch underneath it then I have power distribution unit right here which, uh, where I plugged in everything uh, behind it right there. and then uh, I have my router uh, the sec uh, obviously I have uh, unify access points throughout the house uh, one in at the main floor one on the uh, basement but in addition to that I also have a router because this is a home lab, I do experiments, uh, so I have two wireless networks going on here. Uh, then I have my, uh, you know, home controller. This is for home automation, Vera. I have the modem back here. Uh, I'll show the backside of the uh, rack cabinet as well. Uh, as you go down, I have a monitor that mounted uh, with a, a bracket uh, to the rack cabinet. Then I have my server that is not in use, but uh, I do use uh, for virtualization and testing. Uh, so I shut it down to save some energy and I turn back on whenever I need it. So I turn it back on maybe once a month or something when I do some experiments. And then I have another server that is not in use. Same thing deal. Uh, it is HP server. Uh, this is a Dell server. This is Dell uh, T... Um, uh, 320 the same one as you saw last time uh, you can open this for example so as uh, it has only half of the hard drives right now populated uh, as you can see uh, it has this one two three four hard drives but yeah, I can put more hard drives in here with the caddies obviously and then you have again uh, not in use uh, HP server and underneath it I have the main HP server which is in use currently used for my Unify controller as well as a bunch of virtual machines uh, including uh, evaluation copy of uh, Windows Server, uh, Ubuntu Server, full version etc uh, etc et some bunch of stuff going on in this server. I have a QNAP, an older QNAP, I had it for a long time uh, for my um, storage. It's basically a NAS storage uh, for home use. Uh, and then I also have a storage unit right here, which is a DAS, direct attach one. Uh, that DAS is connected to this server up here, and through that server I can access this DAS. So it has, uh, I believe, four terabyte of uh, space. It's not nowhere near full, and I'm using that to save my uh, security camera footages and stuff like that. With respect to security cameras, there's a new camera system being installed right now. I'll update that later and if you go a uh, little bit below uh, I have a rack here to put some uh, stuff from uh, my um, you know IT work and then underneath it uh, I have this um, UPS unit um, which is a cyber power one I think that's the best for the buck that's why I purchased that one I know uh, obviously APC and other brands are much better options but right now, you know, that's best for the buck. I might buy a second one uh, and install it underneath it, uh, just on above it uh, for 
you know the power uh, the rest of the devices here because currently I also have another cyber power unit right behind it you can see the light right there uh, so yeah and then we I have it small little things like the other network attached storage devices and things like that so this is my new uh, rack cabinet as you can see with everything installed uh, this monitor has a KVM switch behind it uh, again I will most likely gonna replace that KVM switch uh, eventually it's a much better industrial grade probably like a enterprise grade KVM switch so again this is my new home lab rack cabinet has few changes uh, since the last time I post about this uh, and if you go to the back of the rack cabinet which is right behind here and uh, you can open the door and you can see I know the cable management is not the best around here but uh, this is the one of the best cable manage <laughs> so far I have done I try to put the cable in between these uh, chambers or channels so that it'll at least somewhat uh, you know uh, organize so right here for example and those are the back of the switches and the power distribution unit you can see right behind the switch and the patch panels are in between and on top of it uh, and then all the cables coming from the roof uh, I mean the ceiling of the basement and getting distributed everywhere uh, in the house and then uh, you can see I have some uh, you know network attached storage uh, units here and there this is a shelf uh, that's sitting on again uh, I have another four uh, sorry 24 uh, port uh, touch panel in the back here uh, mounted at the 42u uh, section uh, of this uh, back side of this uh, network rack uh, this is for my future whole uh, house outside uh, security camera system I'll probably have about uh, maybe 16 cameras, or, uh, not 16 cameras, sorry, 8 cameras, probably 8 or uh, 12 cameras. Uh, they're all going to come and get terminated here. And then I'll have a shelf, probably like a smaller shelf here uh, with the uh, NVR attached. I'm not interested in creating my own uh, NVR at this point. I'm going to just gonna buy off the shelf and then hook it up to here. Um, and if you call, come down can see the back of uh, the uh, you know this rack I have a second uh, um, power distribution unit right here uh, another PDU again on the back of it there are a bunch of stuff getting uh, being plugged as you can see uh, and uh, you know this is because we I have two UPSs uh, currently one is a consumer grade UPS the other one is a um, like a, a you know rack mount uh, enterprise grade UPS both from cyber power like I said you know I just need for my home lab so uh, it is good enough for me uh, so I'll just go with that uh, for now and then if you keep going down uh, this is my cheap uh, I got it for free <laughs> um, from a um, closed down company uh, it's uh, it's my KVM switch again I'll probably put a, put a better KVM switch later if you keep going down this is the back of the servers and then go down to the bottom of the you know rack so I'm pretty happy with this rack. This is from a company called Sysrack. Uh, they make well, um, well-made racks. Uh, you know, this is a server cabinet actually, server rack cabinet uh, for a really decent price, especially for a home lab. This is really neat. Like it comes with doors and everything, uh, you know, disassembled. So you have to assemble it yourself. So if you're carrying it down uh, to a basement, like I did here, uh, this type of racks are pretty neat because there are some racks that comes uh, uh, in uh, with the already welded uh, structure the problem with that is that you can't really uh, you know uh, take it apart uh, in order to get them uh, downstairs uh, this rack also has the all of these panels comes off as well whenever you need to work on it you can simply you know unhook these two and unlatch them and then open it and it's nice to work on that side and all of them are lockable as well so all of, all these panels are lockable it has locks on it and I would highly recommend this rack uh, to anybody who is interested in home labbing 
because it comes in small pieces like small separate boxes and you put it together like a, a lego set or something right so it's pretty neat uh, for home uh, users uh, again uh, just gonna give you a tour so this is from sys rack the rack cabinet uh, and i have you know switches from uh, unify uh, type switches uh, i have uh, the power distribution you need also this this pdus are also from cyber power and i have cyber power um, uh, what do you call a ups uh, install in here as well so if you have any questions uh, on how to get started on a home lab or you need some uh, guidance or advice on home labbing uh, you're more than welcome to contact me uh, if you have any uh, other questions uh, reach out to me either by uh, putting a message uh, comment on this video or directly contacting me through my uh, sanjay.com website until next time thank you so much and enjoy home labbing